can you believe it? It's almost time for GDDR7 GPUs to arrive. Yes, Samsung just confirmed the GDDR7 memory module. Even though Nvidia's latest GDDR6X GPU, the RTX 4090, just came out, we can clearly assume the next 50 series GPU with GDDR7 is already in development. So how fast is the new GDDR7 in terms of performance? Let's find out. Looking for an animation studio that can turn your story or idea into animated visuals? Look no further than 10 Studio. Our team of experts creates animated explainer videos that simplify complex ideas and bring your message to life. Our experience can help you tell your story in a way that engages your target audience and makes them remember it. Don't miss out on this opportunity to stand out from your competition. Visit our website to know more at www.10.studio. Well, we could say it is almost twice as powerful as the current GDDR6 model. According to Samsung in their latest company presentation about the upcoming technology, this latest model uses PAM3 signaling, known as pulse amplitude modulation, providing 25% more energy efficiency compared to current GDDR6 memory. And even though the memory standard for the GDDR7 has not been finalized yet, current news and leaks say you can expect up to 36 gigabits of memory bandwidth at launch, which is almost twice the data rates over GDDR6. As a result, it might cause a major performance boost when it comes to gaming in higher resolutions such as 4K or more. And let's be honest, Nvidia might try to pull off and polish 8K gaming with their 50 series GPU, considering how powerful the RTX 4090 actually is. Well, another important thing that needs to be discussed is the VRAM. The current RTX 4090 and 4080 model with GDDR6X has 24GB and 16GB respectively. With the power of the new GDDR7 memory module, we might be able to witness a few changes here as well. Now the question is, will Nvidia put the GDDR7 into the lower variant of the 50 series GPUs, such as 5070 or 5060? Well, it might be overkill for GPUs such as these models, and even if they do put it in on these variants, knowing Nvidia, there's a higher possibility the prices might go as higher as compared to the current GPU models. So when is it coming out? That is something no one knows at this point. But since news about the GDDR7 is already on the air, we can safely assume it is likely to get announced officially next year. We will be back again when there will be more left to discuss. So that was all about the upcoming GDDR7 GPUs. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.